everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today I am sharing some brand new fall edition dump and go crock pot meals with you these meals can be dumped into the crock pot left to cook and you're free to do whatever else you need to do and dinner is taken care of really great right now with everyone's crazy schedules homeschooling and everything else that's going on right now so I'm gonna share three meals and one dessert at the very end so make sure that you stay tuned for that today's video is also in collaboration with my friend Stephanie over at home sweet Stephanie she's sharing three meals and one dessert as well Stephanie makes all kinds of yummy stuff over on her channel she's one of my favorites to watch she does lots of what's for dinners and she also throws in some grocery hauls one of my favorite things about her is the variety of meals that she makes I'm always inspired so I'm gonna leave her video link in the description box below make sure that if you head over to leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you and same for anyone coming from Stephanie's channel I'm so excited to have you stop by and I would love it if you left me a comment saying hello and if you like what you see here don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave first up we are gonna make a pretty basic and simple chicken and rice recipe but don't let basic fool you this was so full of flavor if you watched my last what's for dinner I had grilled some chicken thighs however I didn't use the entire package and I ended up freezing the rest so today I'm gonna use the rest of those chicken thighs and then I have about two cans of homemade cream of celery we had gotten lots of celery in one day and we made a homemade cream of celery soup with it so I'm just gonna put in my chicken thighs these are completely frozen I've been back and forth about using frozen chicken in the crock pot but after doing some more research I think that it's totally fine to do this is something you could do like if you're headed out the door for work and you need it to cook for at least eight to ten hours then this is definitely something you could do so we have about two hours left this is where I am gonna add in the rice this is what it's looking like so now I'm gonna take my mix and chop and I'm gonna use that to shred up my chicken I do get lots of questions about this tool so I will have it linked in the description box below and I also get lots of questions on my crock pot so I'm gonna have that link down below as well Here I'm just adding in about a cup and a half of long grain white rice. We're going to give this a stir and let this finish out for the two hours. Also adding in some salt and pepper. All right guys, this is what it is looking like. This was so full of flavor and way too easy. It's only three ingredients, chicken, cream of celery, and rice, and of course salt and pepper, and that is it. It's a really good comfort meal and it's really inexpensive. Next up, we are gonna make a chicken gnocchi soup. So this recipe you may be familiar with if you've ever ate at Olive Garden before, they serve this. So here in this container, I have some pre-cooked chicken that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use that and then I also have a container of the chicken broth that we had got off that chicken. And then we have some potato gnocchi. You can find this at Walmart. We also have some carrots that I pulled out of the freezer. We've got some celery and then one onion. I'm only gonna use half of that onion and then we have some baby spinach that we have planned on using in this recipe. But however, the spinach was already starting to look bad. We still had a day left on the expiration, but for whatever reason, it was already going bad. So we decided not to use it and we'll replace it with a can of spinach instead. And then we also have this carton of half and half. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my produce. Keep in mind, if you want this recipe to be more dump and go, you can do all of the prep work on like a Sunday afternoon if you know that you're gonna be making this. 
during the week go ahead and do all of your prep work when you have a little bit of extra time so that on the day that you want to be able to dump this into your crock pot everything's already done and you can just dump it in and go also if you didn't have chicken that was already pre-cooked you could put your chicken in the crock pot raw with everything else right now you would just need to set your crock pot for a longer time so that your chicken has time to get done and then once it's done you could shred it up and place it back into your crock pot with the soup but because i already had pre-cooked chicken that's what i'm going to use So right now we're only going to place in the chicken, chicken broth, the produce, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and some salt and pepper, and then later we will add everything else in. So then you just want to give it a stir, put your lid on, and we're going to let this cook on high for four hours. So now that the four hours is up, we can add in the spinach, the gnocchi, and the half and half. So like I said, I had originally planned to use bag spinach, but it went bad on me. So we had to pull out a can of spinach. So if I had this to do over again, I would only add in a third of this can. We added in about half of it and it was just a little bit too much for us. So just keep that in mind if you use canned spinach. Unless you like a lot of spinach, I would only use about a third of the can. So now that we've added in the spinach and the gnocchi, we can pour in the whole carton of half and half. We're going to place the lid back on and let this go for an additional 30 minutes. So that's it for this soup. It is so delicious. If you've not ever tried this before, I highly recommend it. We actually make this every year for our Halloween party. Every year my family has a Halloween gathering and this is the soup that we always take and it's a huge hit. So if you've never made this before, highly recommend giving it a try. It's super good. And then for our last meal before we get into the dessert, I'm going to make some beans in the crock pot. Beans is probably the easiest thing that you can dump into your crock pot. They require nothing at all other than you just pour them into your crock pot. So I have about a cup to a cup and a half here of some great northern beans and then I also have some rope sausage that we are going to throw in towards the end. So the first thing you want to do with your beans is rinse them and make sure there are no rocks or anything like that. I'm just going to put the beans into the crock pot make sure they are covered with water and then I'm going to cook this on high for five hours. If you want this to go a little bit longer you can set it to low and cook it for about eight to ten hours possibly even longer it just depends on your crock pot so about the last 30 minutes this is what your beans will be looking like this is where i'm going to go ahead and put in my rope sausage i left mine in bigger pieces you can cut them up however you like basically these just need to heat through so i'm just going to place those in there add in some salt and pepper give them a stir put the lid on and let them go for about 30 minutes So while that finishes up, one of our favorite things to have with beans and rice is cornbread. So I'm just mixing up a box of Jiffy Mix cornbread and I'm just going to cook these in the air fryer.
once the beans were done we served it on rice and had it with cornbread and that is pretty much it this is a really inexpensive meal and really easy to do and now for the dessert so we are going to make a pecan pie this was my first time ever making this in the crock pot and to be honest it did not disappoint i was a little bit sketchy about it but it was really good so the first thing you want to do is spray your crock pot really well you don't want your crust to stick and then next we're going to take one pie crust and place that down into the bottom of the crock pot and have it where your crust goes up on the sides just a bit so the recipe calls for about a cup to a cup and a half of pecans i'm just grabbing out a couple of handfuls and that was perfect so i'm just going to give those a rough chop And then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything else together for the pie filling. Once you have the filling mix, you can add in half of your pecans now, and then we're going to put the other half on top once we get the filling in the crock pot. You could go ahead and add in all of the pecans at once, however, it just makes your pile look a little bit prettier to have a few on top. So now we are just going to put the lid on, let this go for two and a half hours on high. And this is what it came out like. It was really good, y'all. The only thing I would suggest is that if you make this, you are going to want to serve this out of your crock pot. It's not something that you can easily take out because it is soft in the center. The edges were crusty the way that a pie should be. However, the center was a little bit too soft to try to move it. You can see that I tried to take it out and it fell apart on me but the flavor was there. I also think it would have been really good with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. However, we didn't have any, so we just ate it as is. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out Stephanie. I will leave her video link down below in the description box. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.